What is Regulation 28 and why is it important for investors? Regulation 28 is a very critical structure when it comes to portfolios in South Africa. It really aims to well diversify and protect retirement savers in the investment universe. So really it's a very careful set of structures that are put into place to prevent any overexposure to shares or bonds or offshore equities. The, the aim really by the regulation is to ensure that all savers for their retirement have as low a risk and well diversified portfolio as possible. So model portfolios are really integrated into Regulation 28 portfolios. As alluded to, Regulation 28 portfolios are governed by various laws and restrictions. And within those restrictions, fund managers integrate their best ideas and their models so that not only do they meet those restrictions, but they build the best possible portfolio for their clients within those restrictions. And then Justin, how do you apply a model portfolio to a Reg 28? Regulation 28 in Ambrose's sense was very interesting. We found ourselves uh, marketing our international growth portfolio and our local SA equity, equity growth portfolio. And all of a sudden we had financial advisors approaching us and saying, look, we, we, we love them, but what about Regulation 28? We have clients who are trying to save towards their retirement and we need a portfolio that fits the definition in terms of SA's Reg 28 retirement-based portfolio, portfolios. In the SA Reg 28 portfolio, we try to use our best, let's call it ideas and best um, opportunities, but also trying to frame them within the Reg 28 framework. What does that mean? Well, when we started, we tried to avoid in 20, from 2014 onwards, having too much exposure to you know, SA bonds at the time. We didn't see much upside in those. We were concerned about growth in the, in the big blue chip SA equities. So we had, a, we had an ability to take the best ideas from our local SA equity portfolio. And to a degree, we had the ability to have a portion as per Reg 28 that we could take offshore into our best ideas offshore. So what happened was the Reg 28 portfolio was born out of desire and uh, request from you know, the financial advisors. But what we were able to do was take some of the best ideas we had at the time and look at a different way to run Reg 28 in our world. That would, I must caveat that by saying it was still within all the regulations, but that's where the Reg 28 portfolio was born. So in, in any Reg 28 portfolio, I mean, the key purpose is really around retirement savings. And in essence, the more money you have, the more comfortable you can retire, or the more money you'll be able to leave to your dependents, your children, however which you choose. So growth is the key aspect over the long term in that type of portfolio. Now, given that South Africa is such a small percentage of the global economy, uh, it would be foolish to have all your investments in one economic basket, if you like. Your property is here, your future income in terms of your salary is here, and a number of your investments are already here. So global growth adds a significant uh, diversification factor and allows you to get into industries where in South Africa you might not have such a, a level of exposure or have as many uh, options to, to those kinds of industries or sectors.